Hello, how are you doing this week? Hope you've all had a good week. I bet you're getting excited about school holidays and Easter and all sorts of things. Well, as you know, we have been doing our big Bible characters over the last few weeks and we've looked at several of them and we're just going to fast forward like we might in a movie to the very best bit of the movie because we're going to be looking at the biggest, best Bible character, not just Bible character, but great big character of history that we can possibly imagine. And we're going to be thinking about Jesus this week and next week. Well, the Israelites, God's chosen people, were living in a time when they were bossed around by the Romans and they didn't like this. And they were hoping that Jesus would come as their king. And not just a king that would sit on a throne, but a king that would sort out all the bad things that were happening with the Romans and all the way that they were bossing them around. But of course, as we know from the stories we've done so far, God had a plan. And God had a plan to rescue not just the Israelites, but all of his people. So Jesus came and he grew up and we'll learn about that another time. But for today's story, he's all grown up and he's in his 30s and he comes into town. Now in those days they weren't able to, um, they didn't have cars of course, um, they didn't have fancy flags, but they were able to celebrate. And I reckon if you were one of the children in the town at this time, you would have been very excited and you would have joined in with all of the crowd shouting to celebrate and to welcome Jesus. And they used palm branches to do this. And I think it might not be exactly the same, but can you see my palm branch here? I picked that out of my garden and they are amazing. They would have wave them up and down just to say hello and welcome to Jesus and that's the story that we're going to be looking at today. So let's hear about it now. Long before Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a prophet said that God's chosen king would arrive riding a donkey. Many kings galloped on powerful horses, but this story tells how the prophet's words came true. Jesus and his disciples were travelling to Jerusalem during a busy time of year when they were celebrating Passover and he sent two of his helpers to a village to find a donkey. The men found it just as Jesus had said. They untied the donkey and they took it back to Jesus. When the men got back with the donkey, they spread their coats on its back and Jesus climbed onto him, although no one had ever ridden this donkey. It stood steady as Jesus climbed him. The donkey started to clip clop through the town and people came running. They threw their coats down for the donkey to walk on and they took their palm branches and they waved them in the air. So some put coats down and the donkey rode through them. Others laid down their palm branches. Everywhere people greeted Jesus saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And everything happened just as the prophet had said. The King of Kings arrived in Jerusalem on a donkey. Jesus 